Good morning, students. I hope you are fine. So we have started chapter number twenty of literature, a cure for rabies. We have learned in this chapter that this chapter is about a disease called rabies. Rabies is a disease caused by animal bite, whether it's a dog, whether it's a wolf. Okay, so we give vaccines for rabies, and there was a scientist Louis Pasteur who has developed that vaccine for rabies. So we have learned in the first half that uh, there was a shepherd Nicole who was in pain. Who is a shepherd? The one who rears sheep. He was bitten by a wolf. So he had rabies. And in the old times, we have learned that the only method was to burn the wound of that boy. Okay. So the blacksmith put the hot metal rod into his wound, and he started burning. and it was extremely painful so louis was shocked to see that incident and he had in his mind that i have to do something with regards to rabies now we'll start with the second half of the chapter from here the boy who lived many years later in 1885 a woman rushed her 9 year old son joseph mister to pasteur's laboratory Pasteur who was 63 years old at that time had been working on a cure for rabies for some years he had developed a vaccine that prevented rabies in dogs but it was yet to be tested on a human being so you can see clearly in the picture students that there is a laboratory a place where you do your experiments and now jos uh, now louis pasteur is 63 years old so it is about many years later in 1885 and there is a boy in front of him whose name is joseph name is joseph mister he is a 9 year old boy and he is bitten by a mad dog so he has rabies okay so his mother rushed him to uh, uh, jo uh, pasture's laboratory okay now the pasture had developed a vaccine but it is yet to be tested on a human being my son was bitten by a mad dog 2 days ago on his way to school please save him without your help he will certainly die joseph's mother cried pastor examined the boy carefully he had 14 wounds and could hardly walk fortunately his face had been saved okay so pastor examined when you go to a doctor the doctor examines you the doctor check your pulse rate your heart beat your throat your everything okay so examine means to look properly look completely okay so the louis pasteur also examined the boy and he had 14 cuts on his body but luckily his face was saved from that mad dog fortunately means luckily pasteur discussed joseph's case with well known doctors and decided to use the vaccine on him even though he was taking a big risk so he discussed the case with good doctors or uh, the case of joseph and then he decided to use the vaccine that was developed by him but he was taking a big risk why it was a risk because he was not a doctor first second that vaccine was not yet tested third uh, he could be punished for practicing the medicine he was not a doctor he could have been punished Pasteur gave the boy thirteen injections over eleven days. During this time, young Joseph had to stay near Pasteur's laboratory so that he could be watched closely. This was because the scientists did not know the way the vaccine worked in human beings. Okay, so he was taking a big risk because he was not a doctor. He could be punished, and it was the first time to be tested on a human being. so he gave the boy 13 injections over a period of 11 days each day pasteur gave joseph a stronger dose of the vaccine but he was worried about the final results when he closed his eyes to sleep he would see joseph crying in pain so he increased the dose he increased the medicine every day okay but he was worried about the final result but as the days passed the boy's wounds healed as he got healthier he would often play around the laboratory on 16th july 1885 pasteur gave joseph the last vaccine 
Joseph went home fully cured. His mother was over the moon. Joseph was the first human patient to be treated and saved by a rabies vaccine. Pasteur was a hero. So as the days passed, the boy's cuts, the boy's injury, the boy wound healed. Healed means got better, cured. Cured means to get healthy. Okay, and he got healthy. And on sixteenth July, he gave him the last vaccine, and he went home with his mother. His mother was over the moon, extremely happy, overjoyed, and Pasteur became a hero. A few months later, a fifteen-year-old shepherd boy came to Pasteur. He had been badly bitten by a rabid dog while trying to save six young friends. Pasteur injected him with the vaccine and saved him. people from as far away as russia began coming to him for treatment to treat the patients pouring in by the thousands pasteur institute was set up with help from kings of russia egypt and brazil the people of france contributed as well okay so after few months again a 15 year old boy came to pasteur he was bitten by a mad dog and pasteur also gave him injections and he saved him so after this all these incidents successful incidents people from all over the world started coming to him for treatment pouring in pouring in means to come in large numbers so they started coming in in thousands okay uh, and for this purpose pasteur institute was set up a place to was set up for this treatment okay with the help of kings from various places of world next page a small incident shows how important the discovery of rabies vaccine was to pasteur when someone asked him what words he wanted to have on his tombstone he replied joseph mr lived so someone asked louis pasteur that when you will die what words you want to have on your stone there is a stone on the grave that is called a tombstone okay so he replied please write joseph mr lived student joseph mr was the first person to a na 8 9 year old boy to be treated by louis pasteur pasteur the father of germ theory pasteur's scientific discoveries improved the everyday lives of people from richest to the poorest at that time people did not understand the connection between germs and illness they thought that germs appeared out of nowhere pasteur's experiment showed that germs were living things He also proved that infectious diseases are often caused by such germs. So he discovered the vaccine for rabies. Another thing he did was he discovered that germs were living things and the diseases are caused by germs. So there is a connection between germs and disease. It was Pasteur who found that heating milk and other liquids make them last longer as it kills the germs and makes them safer to drink this process is known as pasteurization after the scientist after this this uh, lecture tell your mother to tell you show you pasteurization when your mother heats the milk or any other liquid it kills the germs okay and it makes it safer to drink so that process is known as pasteurization means in hindi we call it as ubalna right so pasteurization is named after louis pasteur a lot of people died during operations in pasteur's time pasteur asked doctors to boil their instruments wash their hands use clean bandage these are the basic rules followed by doctors and hospitals today but it was pasteur who made people realize its importance These discoveries are the basis of modern medicine and continue to save millions of lives today. So Pasteur star made people realize the importance of washing hands, um, uh, boiling the instruments, uh, using the process of pasteurization, using clean bandages so that germs could be killed. And now this practice of Louis Pasteur is being followed in all the hospitals and by all the doctors in the. world so if you have any doubt in this chapter you are free to call or message me thank you